So have you ever been in the middle of a conversation when somebody asks you how your week went? Usually we all say, oh, it was good. But then they ask you, so what did you do? I don't remember. That's almost always my answer. At least it was several months ago. And after one particularly interesting conversation, I realized when I walked away that I don't really put much thought into my weeks or even my day before I go to bed. And this is where memories are made in the mundane of the everyday. And so I don't want to forget them. And so enters the world's easiest journaling. This is a small six by eight inch notebook and I decided I was going to dedicate just one page, not a whole spread, but just one page to a day. And I took four categories, first one being best part, second one being hardest part, third one being funnest part, and yes I know funnest is not a word, but that's what I write, and fourth being my hope for tomorrow. And before I go to bed, I pull this notebook out and I write the date at the top. I just fill out the four categories. And usually I just do one thing for each category and that makes it potent, it makes it special. I'm really just deciding what was the best part. For instance, Saturday, March 29th, I said the best part was puddle jumping with Bradley. It had been raining and um, it clearly wasn't raining anymore and Bradley loves to jump in puddles and I figured why don't we just go jump in some puddles and we had so much fun it was pointless and I don't know not all that exciting very mundane but had I not written that down I never would have thought of that again then the hardest part was oh Bradley had a rough day for the rest of that day she was kind of in a funk and I had a hard time with that I got overwhelmed and I got distracted while trying to do other things because she was in that funk. Funnest part, um, I actually said I didn't have the funnest day because I was having a crappy attitude. And I don't necessarily want to remember that, but it's what I wrote. And then my hope for tomorrow, have more fun. It's a really good way to just write down those things that you want to remember in life. And maybe even a few things that you don't necessarily want to remember, but you're going to remember anyway because you wrote them down. I also love that it's small and compact. Um, I can fit them, I can fit a ton of them on my bookshelf and they're not clunky and huge. And I never read through any of my older journals because there was so much in them. And I like that this is just simple. It's minimal. I can read over it quickly and easily. And all of the emotions come flooding back when I read it. And I don't need all the details as well. So if you want a journal, but you don't have the time or you don't feel like you're a very good writer or you're just not really interested in remembering every detail of your life, do the world's simplest journaling with these tiny little notebooks. You can find them at the dollar store and um, sometimes they're lined and sometimes they're not. Just look around and it obviously doesn't have to be this kind of journal. It can be any type of small journal or it can be a big journal and you just write those four different categories and just say a sentence or two for each day. Super easy, super convenient, and really one of the greatest parts of finding satisfaction in the mundane of the everyday. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you plan on doing this. And if you like the idea, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe as well. We'll see you later. Bye guys.